Hello everyone. Welcome to Self Love You. I am Jenna Ryan, your self love life coach. And today's topic is handling how to handle rejection from the narcissist. How to handle rejection from the narcissist. It is a very painful experience to be rejected by the narcissist, depending upon where you are in your healing journey and depending upon the relationship itself. I am talking about any kind of rejection from the narcissist, from a friend, from an acquaintance, from a neighbor, from a lover, from a boyfriend, a girlfriend, from a spouse, from a teacher, from a family member, a mom, a sister, whatever. I am talking about a client. I'm talking about rejection from a narcissist, how to handle that, and what is it all about? Well, first of all, let's start with the premise that the narcissist sees you as an extension of themselves. A narcissist does not see like a normal person, a healthy person sees. A narcissist sees you as their tool, as their fuel. You are not to have your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own needs. You are to service the narcissist, to serve the narcissist. You're there to serve them. You have no other purpose other than to meet the needs of the narcissist person, okay? And if you try to go and be a whole person, if you try to develop your sense of self, if you try to set a boundary, the narcissist is going to reject you every time. The narcissist does not want to be in relationship with anyone who has boundaries. You are not grade A supply if you have boundaries. If you have boundaries, you might as well forget being in relationship with the narcissist because they will, like the trash, take themselves out. They will not be in your life for five minutes. They will not be in your life for one second. They will immediately, if you have boundaries, if you have a sense of self and you're dealing with the narcissist, they will immediately start trash talking you. Even if they're a covert narcissist, they will begin trash talking you somehow, some way. A narcissist, if you dare to have a self, if you dare to set a boundary, if you dare to say no, if you dare to not be there for them exactly when they need you to be there, they are out the door. Sometimes they're out the door temporarily. It depends on your level of health. But if you're starting to figure out who you are, realize your worth, and you're starting to grow stronger along your healing journey, and you're actually setting boundaries and doing things that are healthy for yourself and not necessarily beneficial to the narcissist, then they're going to leave your life. They're going to leave you. They're going to cheat on you. They're going to look for other people because that's their game. That's what they do. The moment you become un usable to the narcissist, they will let you go. Now, the narcissist will also let you go during the discard and devaluation phase. You know, if you have your typical meathead kind of narcissist person who's just going from, or player type, going from girl to girl, or the girl who's trying to use the guy, I hear a lot about that in my coaching. The girl who's using the guy and making the guy feel guilty and all of that and getting her bills paid from the guy, or the guy who's just using the girl for an ego boost and who really is lying and being untruthful and, and all of these things, you know, that is another type of narcissist that is going to reject you. They're going to reject you because why? Because they're only in it for five minutes. They're only in it as long as you're paying. They're not really in it for a true relationship, not for a reciprocal relationship that's mutually beneficial. Someone who is in it for a mutually beneficial relationship is going to be a whole healthy person who respects that you can say no sometimes and doesn't have a tissy about you saying no sometimes. A healthy person is not going to be um, particularly reactive if you are not available all the time. If They're not going to have a, a strong reaction and, and they're not going to feel like, you know, the end of the world. A strong, healthy person is going to have a healthy sense of self, and they're not going to need to reject you for every little thing. But the narcissist, what they're looking for is they're looking for someone who's going to be available at all times in the way that they need you to be available. They need you to mirror back their perfection in the way that they want to be seen, 
You cannot see them for who they really are. You must see them only at their level of cognition. If you see that they're being abusive to you and you call them out and you set a boundary against that abuse, they are going to reject you and get out of your path because the last thing they want to do is deal with someone who's going to be argumentative. In their opinion, anybody that doesn't see things the way they see them is argumentative. Anyone who does not agree with them is absolutely not worth the time of day. Anyone who sees any of their flaws and lets them know about it is not someone who is useful. They must be annihilated immediately and they must leave your presence immediately. They block you. They will leave you. They will leave you alone if you begin to set boundaries. If you want to get rid of the narcissist in your life, just set a boundary. Say, you know, no, that doesn't work for me. I'm sorry, no, that doesn't work for me. Because that is the way that you get rid of the narcissist. They will leave you. They will block you. And they may, if you're not strong enough yet and you have not developed your sense of self, you may be so sad. Why has this person left me? What can I do to get them back? You know, all I did was ask them to please take out the trash. And now they left me for another woman. All I did was, was ask for you know, a little reciprocity. All I did was say I wanted to go to the movie I wanted to go to. None of this is real stuff that happened, but it's, I'm trying to give you the gist of how, how asinine and small the reasoning can be for a narcissist. They do not want someone who's got it going on. They are completely en envious. They are so envious of you. They're envious of anyone who's separate. They're envious of you in their life, especially if you're their fuel. They have pathological envy. And if you're somebody who has it going on and you dare to set a boundary and you dare to have a self and you dare to not be moved, you dare to not give a rip if they're acting like a drama king or drama queen and you just go, okay, whatever. And, and it doesn't bother you at all. That is super duper no-no in the land of narcissism. You're not going to be a narcissist's best friend if you are not bowing down to everything that they say. And, and this has to be a pattern in you. This has to be a pattern in your heart. Something that you've learned maybe in childhood, how to placate the narcissist, how to bow down to the narcissist, how to not have your own needs, how to not have any boundaries, and how to be fuel for someone else. But you know, once you start growing up, once you start healing, once you start learning who you are, then you're gonna start learning that the narcissist go, they part like the Red Sea. They part like, gotta go. They are repelled by a healthy person. They're repelled by a whole self. So don't feel rejected because you're not being rejected. You're simply being accepted by yourself and being seen by yourself. And you deserve a pat on the back if you set a boundary and you begin to, to understand what your rights are and you begin to move in your power and you begin to pull your power back and stop giving your power away to the narcissist. That means that you're on the path to healing and success. Let the trash take itself out. Bye, 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 bye. I mean, what's, you're not going to get any good out of a narcissist anyway. So let him go. Let him block you. Oh, really? Why don't you say something that hurts me? Don't even give them the energy of a response if they block you or leave you. Because you know what? Any energy that you give to the narcissist is like giving to a black hole. And if they're not able to give back and they're just going to sit there and, and disrespect you whenever you have an issue and not want to work through things with you and not want to be a whole person with you and not allow you to be your whole self and not allow you to notice flaws and not allow you to clarify and things like that, then that's not somebody that's going to be healthy in the long term anyway. You're going to get hurt anyway. So just go ahead and let them let them let themselves out. Don't let the door hit them in the butt and say, bye-bye, see you later, narcissist, because I have bigger and better places to go. And it doesn't have anything to do with the narcissist. It has to do with love, with truth, with people that are reciprocal, and with myself that, that appreciates me living up to my fullest potential, me being who I am, me having boundaries, and all of that good stuff. And when I say me, I'm talking about you, and I hope y'all know that. And um, so I am Jenna Ryan. I'm so excited. Next week, I'm going to be going to Georgia, and I'm going to be doing a video from Georgia. I'm going to Georgia to do some 
intensive EMDR, which I'm super excited about. So you guys, um, if you're interested in coaching, come to me at selfloveyou.net on the web. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.